Hi friends, welcome to Wafa Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to use Azure MCP server using Visual Studio Code. I hope you guys know what is MCP. If you don't know, in my AA Agents playlist, I have created a video to explain what is MCP and how MCP powers AA Agents, whatever we create with the tools it is needed. Okay. So for your imagination, MCP, uh, assume like a API in which you have a couple of functionalities uh, that your AA agent can use to finish, maybe sending an email, maybe uh, creating a word document, uh, maybe calculating some value from your data, what you provide. So all these are like a Python functions, which will wrap around MCP server using fast MCP library. Uh, so that's what I have discussed in that video. I will provide the video description. Uh, so please watch that video before watching this video to get a most out of it. Now, being a Azure customers, uh, we end up with a lot of uh, need. For example, maybe I want to list down the available resource groups in my Azure subscription. Or maybe I want to list down the storage accounts. So there are certain functionalities which I might which I might want to do via programmatically. And when I do via programmatically, maybe I I, I would have created a AI agent in my company. So that, that AI agent should be capable enough to help me with all these things on the Azure platform. Uh, so maybe getting a resource groups, uh, it's a classic example. If you take that example, you might end up with writing a PowerShell code or a REST API call doing that, right? But that is a normal traditional programming. Uh, but if you want, if you are developing a AI agent for your company for some certain functionality, and you want to make sure that a agent is capable enough to talk to Azure platform and get the resource groups as well. So for that, right, you no need to write a functionality completely and wrap it inside the MCP server and give it to your AI agent. You can leverage this Azure MCP server directly, uh, which out of the box comes with lot of tools in it. And using that tools, uh, you can power your own AI agent uh, to perform certain functionalities on the Azure platform, as I said, listing down the resource groups. So let's see this in action. Now I am going to consume this MCP server using Visual Studio Code as a client. So inside the Visual Studio Code, I will be using the uh, GitHub Copilot and I will connect the GitHub Copilot with the MCP server and directly I will ask some question related to my Azure platform, maybe listing down the resource groups and it will help me to get the resource groups back. So to do that, so I'm opening Visual Studio Code here. So in Visual Studio Code, uh, I have a GitHub Copilot. Uh, so I hope you guys also have it. So if you don't have, please try to uh, do that. So have a Visual Studio Code. You can go to Google and search Visual Studio Code download. You will go, you will get a community edition uh, version, which is a free one. Okay. And once you connect to Visual Studio Code, this is how it will look like. So what you do, go to extensions. And here search like Azure MCP server extension. So this Azure MCP server extension one should install to make the things works, work with Azure MCP server. So please do that. Also, you, you will be seeing this chart icon at the top. Uh, uh, you need to try that to open the GitHub Copilot or you can search it GitHub Copilot from the extensions uh, if this is not there then install that GitHub Copilot as well. Then once you have it, you will, have this, you will have this chart icon at the top. So when it is there, what you can do, you, you can click that open chart option to open your GitHub Copilot. Okay, so that's what I did it. And uh, let me minimize these extensions and let me close everything. Now, this is the chart where I can, I, I can chart with the GitHub Copilot. Okay, so this is, this is what it is. If you see here, you have something like here the mode right so you need to choose the agent mode there because mcp servers will be consumed by agents only so don't use the ask mode so navigate this to agent mode that is first change and then what what, what you can do it is uh, let me uh, you see this here there is one icon on the github copilot so this is like a configure tools so you need to go to the configure tools option and here you need to search like maybe if you search like MCP, uh, Azure MCP, then you will see that option. Uh, if I zoom it, you will see this option and you need to make sure this MCP server Azure MCP is selected. Uh, so that means I am telling to the GitHub Copilot agent 
uh, to use the Azure MCP server, which is out of the box provided by Azure platform itself. Uh, so I'm not writing any code to list down the resource groups. For example, I will simply prompt with the AI agent and AI agent will talk to this Azure MCP and invoke the tool or the functionality which helps to get the resource group names back and it will get me back. So that's how the things will work there. So when it is selected, click OK. OK. And uh, let me maximize this. Uh, and so even though I maximize it, I think uh, the screen is coming here, right? So let me see if I can move this to left side. Okay, so I, I managed to get this uh, GitHub Copilot chart experience in agent window and configured tools to Azure MCP. Uh, I think it is all now left side. So I think you are able to see clearly what I'm going to type it here. So now we have this uh, GitHub Copilot in a agent mode. Uh, so and uh, Azure MCP is connected as a server as well. So now I can chart with this agent and uh, based upon the prompt what I give, this agent will figure it out, uh, okay, maybe I need to invoke a Azure MCP server and it will do things accordingly. And before doing that, what one, one thing you have to make sure is, uh, let me open a command prompt. Uh, Azure MCP has a functionality to talk to Azure, right? So basically your Azure credentials has to be connected in your local first. So for that, right, you need to have a Azure CLI locally. So install Azure CLI. If you don't have, uh, go to uh, Google and search Azure CLI and you will get some downloader and you will install it. Once you have that, you, you can you can try this Azure account show or some function, some command, az account show or some command. This will, if this command runs successfully, that means you have the Azure CLI installed correctly. If, if not, you don't have, so install it. So in this case, when I type this command, it is telling I have already connected with my Azure account and with my ID, uh, with the subscription and all. So that is the reason I'm good here. So uh, if, if, if I'm not good, see if, if I have, if my local Azure CLI is not connected with my Azure, so use this command az space login and when you enter it it will pop up for you to login like this and use that login to connect to your azure account so that local credentials will be get used by the azure mcp server at a back end for you to authenticate and do the things correctly for you so if i type az account show once again so i am seeing the connection details good that means i am connected with my azure account so i am going back to my github copilot and this time here, what I will be doing it, okay, maybe list my resource group names. So that is a prompt I am using it. And when I use that prompt, uh, this will, this uh, GitHub Copilot agent will figure it out. And if you clearly see, it is trying to invoke this tool from the Azure MCP server that will actually help me to get the list of resource groups automatically. Okay. so how that magic is happening because of the mcp server which github copilot has already connected if it would have not connected then it will not able to find out the relevant tool that can help you to get the list of resource groups and you see that it is able to give me the list of resource groups so github copilot is something like a ai system which help you to uh, developers to write a code faster and all but how it is able to connect to my azure platform and then see the resource groups there and give me the resource groups names back that is the magic of the mcp right so the azure platform people the azure team has created certain functionalities and kept them inside the azure mcp server and then they made it public to everybody to consume and what they are saying is if you are implementing AI agents, uh, if you have certain functionality where you want to interact with Azure platform and get the resource groups, let's assume, then you don't need to do that. You just simply hit the MCP server provided by Azure platform itself. Uh, so that way you will be able to achieve your functionality without writing your own MCP server and tool in it. So that is the magic of this. Uh, and uh, what will happen if I am not wrong, uh, my understanding or my assumption is, in future, this MCP server will become more and more and powerful. Uh, that means more and more and functionalities will, will be get added into the MCP server as a tools 
and uh, most of the functionalities whatever anybody needs might be already already uh, created as a tool inside the mcp so people will start use more and more and more and more AI agents will get created in future so the traditional application development will uh, very soon will shift into a agents creation that means it is also an application only but it is a intelli intelligent application where llms are able to communicate with you in a natural language and able to perform the task what you want right so i hope uh, you find this video interesting thank you for watching if you like this video consider hitting like button and subscribing to the channel uh, also uh, feel free to comment how you felt about this video or you, uh, you want to listen about some other new topic or suggest me some topics or something on which i can do more and more videos thank you for watching have a nice day